Yeah, Cheryl, just within the past hour, animal control uh, officials as well as Chicago police have responded to about half a dozen locations by our count, uh, responding to reports of one, perhaps two coyotes running around in this area. Right now we're in an area of row houses here near Delaware and Cambridge, where uh, there appears to be some sort of an active search going on in this uh, sort of fenced in area. You see some Chicago police officers here. They've been sort of going through this area of abandoned row houses looking for ha perhaps for uh, an animal that may or may not have been cornered in this area. It's been kind of like this for the last hour and a half. Police responding to multiple locations. These latest sightings capping off a frenetic few days. Tonight, a wild scene on the near north side. Animal care and control officials with tranquilizer guns in hand trying to round up a coyote one day after a six year old was bitten in the head. I could see that the kid was bleeding um, from his head, uh, got down to his face, all over his jacket. Um, he was hurt pretty badly. He was crying. Dominic Bruce and Ryan Taylor, both DePaul University track athletes, happened to be running nearby yesterday near the Peggy Notabart Nature Museum. I called the police immediately as fast as I could. Dom picked up a branch and started trying to scare away the coyote. Uh, we did anything that we could to try to help this kid out. Shake his hand, make him feel better. Um, you know, just trying to make sure he was feeling all right, take his mind off the pain. In recent days on the north side, a slew of coyote sightings. This one with a limp spotted this morning in Streeterville, not far from an unconfirmed attack of a man who says he was bitten last night. Another sighting today in Oz Park, prompting nearby schools to keep students inside for recess. We generally leave them alone as part of our ecosystem. For sightings, we're not going to go pick up a coyote just because a sighting was, was reported. For an attack, however, yes, we will absolutely get involved. Coyotes have long lived in Chicago and are protected by state law. Attacks on people extremely rare. If this is in fact true, it would be the first documented case uh, in the state of Illinois. Back live here now uh, near Delaware and Cambridge, where an active search with Chicago police as well as animal control officials is taking place in this area of abandoned row houses here. This is not far from where just a few days ago a dog was reported attacked by a coyote. Police, animal care, and control officials back here in this area tonight scrambling to keep up with these reports of one, perhaps two animals running around in this area. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.